On May 21, 2025, a Weibo user posted images reportedly showing a green-painted J-35A fighter jet, a color typically associated with unpainted airframes or early production models, which led to speculation that the aircraft could be the first serial production J-35A. Although some internet sources and commentators claimed the aircraft was intended for Pakistan or had already entered operational service, such interpretations are not supported by any official statements. Ruprecht Dino noted that the J-35 is not yet in service, has not been exported, and is most likely intended for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. These indications suggest that the aircraft is still in the early production phase, although confirmation of serial production from Chinese authorities remains absent. The J-35A is the land-based variant of China's fifth-generation fighter program developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation under the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. The aircraft originates from the FC-31 Gerfalcon, a technology demonstrator that first flew on October 31, 2012, and was not initially funded by the People's Liberation Army. Lacking official military endorsement at the time, the aircraft carried the FC prefix rather than the J designation used for operational People's Liberation Army fighters. The FC-31 was publicly shown at events such as the Zhuhai Air Show in 2014 and the Dubai Air Show in 2015, aiming to attract export customers. After years of testing and modifications, including the 2016 debut of the second prototype featuring revised characteristics, the program garnered more interest from the People's Liberation Army, which eventually led to the development of naval and land-based variants. The J-35A land-based version made its first flight on September 26, 2023, and differs from its naval counterpart in several structural aspects, including a single nose wheel, a different wing plan form, and variations in the tail configuration. The J-35A was publicly introduced during the 15th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition, Zhuhai Air Show, in November 2024. It bore People's Liberation Army Air Force markings and the number 75, likely commemorating the 75th anniversary of the Air Force. Colonel Nu Wenbo of the People's Liberation Army Air Force Equipment Department confirmed the aircraft's participation in the event. Wang Yongqing, chief researcher at the Shenyang Aircraft Design and Research Institute, described its role in combat as contributing to systems coordination. According to his remarks, the aircraft may interface with surface-to-air missile units and other platforms, potentially using its radar to share targeting data or guide weapons. This implies the J-35A is being positioned as an integrated node within a broader air defense network. At the air show, the aircraft conducted a flight demonstration and was featured in a static display, further reinforcing its association with the People's Liberation Army Air Force and marking its first official public appearance. No complete official data set has been released regarding the J-35A's specifications or performance. Based on available observations, the aircraft features a twin-engine, single-seat configuration with internal weapons bays, diverterless supersonic inlets (DSI), and a trapezoidal wing design. It reportedly has a smaller wing area than the naval variant and uses a different landing gear layout. The airframe appears to incorporate radar-reducing features, including edge-aligned surfaces, smooth panel transitions, and serrated elements on control surface interfaces. The aircraft is believed to include an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, electro-optical targeting systems, and helmet-mounted displays, although these remain speculative due to the lack of confirmed technical details. Prototypes have used WS-13E engines and possibly the WS-21, while some sources suggest the WS-19 may power future production variants. Open source estimates place its maximum takeoff weight at approximately 28 tons, with combat radius estimates ranging from 1,200 to 1,900 kilometers, though none of these figures have been officially verified. The J-35A was publicly introduced during the 15th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition, Zhuhai Air Show, in November 2024. The aircraft's weapons configuration has not been publicly confirmed, 
However, images and available commentary suggest the J-35A is capable of carrying a mix of short- and medium-range air-to-air missiles such as the PL-10 and PL-15 alongside precision-guided munitions. Internal bays may accommodate up to six missiles while additional payloads could be mounted on external hardpoints, though the operational loadout doctrine remains undefined. Chinese defense sources and media commentators have characterized the aircraft as a networked combat asset capable of fulfilling both air superiority and ground attack roles while interfacing with other systems. Within this context, the J-35A may serve as a complement to the J-20 in the People's Liberation Army Air Force's structure. Chinese publications have described the J-10C, J-16, J-20, and J-35A as forming a cohesive Four Musketeers fighter fleet. The naval version of the aircraft, designated J-35, has also seen notable progress. Chinese reports indicated that in late March 2025, the J-35 successfully completed an electromagnetic catapult launch aboard the aircraft carrier Fujian, Type 003. If confirmed, this would mark a significant step toward operational carrier-based stealth aviation for the People's Liberation Army Navy. The Fujian, equipped with three electromagnetic catapults and powered by an integrated electric propulsion system, can accommodate heavier aircraft than China's previous carriers. Analysts estimate the Fujian could carry up to 48 J-35 fighters, while modified variants may be deployed in limited numbers aboard the ski-jump-equipped Liaoning and Shandong. Including all platforms, China may operate close to 100 carrier-based stealth aircraft by the end of the decade, although no official confirmation of these capabilities or deployment timelines has been issued by Chinese authorities. While the aircraft remains primarily focused on domestic service, potential export interest is growing. Reports suggest that Pakistan is seeking to acquire up to 40 J-35A fighters, with pilot training allegedly underway in China and initial deliveries projected to begin in 2026. Egypt is also said to be in preliminary discussions with China regarding a possible acquisition. An export-specific version, designated J-35E, is reportedly under development. Due to the infrastructure required for catapult launches, export of the naval J-35 variant appears unlikely for most customers. Comparisons between the J-35 and the American F-35 continue to circulate in public discourse, particularly regarding similarities in external appearance and supposed functionality. Observers have noted differences in canopy design, nose profile, tail configuration, and air intake arrangement. Some U.S. officials and analysts, including General David W. Alvin, have suggested that aspects of the J-35A may have been influenced by the F-35's design. Nonetheless, other experts have cautioned against over-reliance on such visual parallels given the limited publicly available data on the J-35's avionics, stealth characteristics, and combat systems. The origin of certain design features remains contested, with past allegations of espionage persisting. Chinese and Russian sources, including MiG Corporation's Vladimir Barkovsky, have described the J-35 as an indigenous platform that conforms to fifth-generation stealth design principles without being a direct copy of Western aircraft.